So, my favorite video game of all time, that is, that's a tough one. Um, there's a lot of cult classics, there's a lot of like mainstream games I've spent a lot of time playing as a kid. I gotta say though, because I, I spent so much time doing it, Smash Brothers Melee, hands down. Um, it's got to be one of the best games uh, that was ever made. Um, I know like there's a lot of people that have a lot of negative views on Melee because of the comp scene and like how some of those people act, but just when that game came out, just the timing of its release, what else was on the market, it was it was awesome. Spend so much time with your friends doing crazy stuff. Um, the, the level of competition that, you know, it had a circle of friends. It was like six of us. We'd get together every weekend to look forward to just blast each other. Um, you know, just drilling into each other with jokes and making fun of each other and just the, everything about it was awesome. It's hard to beat that as a kid. A game that I thought I would like, but I actually hated. That's another tough one. Um, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this, but Super Mario RPG for the SNES. Um, heard nothing but great things about it. I love the Mario Brothers series. I love RPGs, I love Final Fantasy games. But Super Mario RPG just didn't do it for me. There was something about it. Um, just, I don't know if it was the mechanics, but it just didn't click. Uh, it, like just the character design, all that stuff was awesome. I loved um, the cartoonish humor and, and like just the goofiness of it, and how they took like this kind of semi-serious genre that was um, being taken by Square Enix in a completely different direction, and then just kind of brought it back. And was like, oh hey, by the way, <laughs> we're using this as inspiration. Like towards the end, it, it just there's a lot of good things about it. The soundtrack's awesome, but it just didn't click. I never never got into it. What game have I spent the most amount of hours on? Steam hours are probably a, a little bit skewed there. Either Planet Side 2 for PC or Smash Bros. Uh, it's kind of a tie between Melee and Brawl. Um, but Planet Side 2, it's hard not to just get sucked into it. There was a time when, especially early on, where you'd get into fights with literally two or three hundred people or more. Um, and it was just like, you didn't want to turn the game off until you were through with that fight. And those fights would last for days sometimes. You could shut your PC off, come back a day later, and the fight would still be going on. <laughs> so there's people all different around the world in different time uh, zones just battling out and just having a good time. Um, it was just one of those games that just, it was, it was easy to lose time. And Melee and Brawl, I mean Smash Brothers in general, it's just, so many late nights with friends, you go over and expect them to spend like an hour or two with your friends and all of a sudden it's like two o'clock in the morning and their parents are wondering what the hell is going on. If I had to marry a video game character, <laughs> who would it be? Oh, that's, that's a weird one. Because, you know, you latch on to like a specific quality but they're not like really well rounded. Oh man, that's, that's a tough one. I'm not sure I can answer that. Like that, that's just a really, I'm thinking too hard about it. Like a bromance style one, probably Luigi. Cause Luigi is like, just the underdog with everything. He seems like a cool friend he could just go out and have drinks with. But like just on like a friend level, but that's, that's a weird question. First game I ever remember playing. That's pretty, that's a pretty easy one. Uh, F-Zero for the SNES. I remember as a kid distinctly, um, my brother was the one that, that got the SNES and, and was playing the heck out of that game. Just had a blast with it and we would fight it with a controller. And I remember that even like, I, I don't know how old it was, but it's like the earliest game memory I have is, is F-Zero. I'm fighting over the controller for it. What game am I playing right now? Uh, there's a few. Uh, Borderlands 3 just came out in the last month. I've been playing the heck out of that on the weekends. I play a little bit of Soul Cal 6 on the side. I don't have a Switch, but if I had a Switch, I'd be still play Breath of the Wild. Uh, just because it's like one of those games that just there's so much to do, um, and like Legend of Zelda series is amazing. There's, there's a lot of cool things to do in there. In my opinion, what is the best video game console? So I feel like that's that's another tough one, uh, only because gaming has changed so much since I was a kid. Um, you know, there's a lot of nostalgia, and like there's a lot to argue about some of the older consoles having the best games. You know, such as like the N64 and the PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast and, and all that. Um, but like nostalgia aside, I think like the newer consoles are actually doing things that 
Um, the older consoles, like the Nintendo and Sony, them couldn't have dreamed of been able to accomplish. I mean, the, the Switch's portability. Um, I think the Switch is actually probably the best one, but the PS4 is strong growing up just because of all the exclusives and just like you could do so much on it. It's ridiculous. Her PC gamer is really superior to console gamers. Ha ha ha! Peasants! Yes. Yes. You fight me. What is my favorite fighting class? Uh, I'm a huge RPG nerd. Um, I have a soft spot for healers. I played White Mage a lot in uh, Final Fantasy XI. I played that game for years. Um, so definitely think healers, most underrated role. Uh, people get really pissed off at them really easily, but don't worry about it. If you, if you like playing healers, keep on it. You're awesome for doing it. Uh, second runner up is probably like stealth or like rogue types. I, I like just the backstabby, like crit range based style. Do I prefer multiplayer games or solo? That's a that's a that's a toss up. I, I would say it's like 60 40 multiplayer and single player. Um, the reason being is like single player games always have a spot. Like, you know, even growing up, um, both as a kid and, and now as an adult, like, you know, real life responsibilities really kick in. You gotta do like cooking, cleaning, work, all that stuff. Single player games are a blast. Because um, you can fit anytime in you want to schedule. Multiplayer, I mean, it's easier now than ever with online play, but um, for me, multiplayer really means like going over your buddy's house, making some popcorn or some hot dogs or something, hang out for a couple hours and just get to the point where you're ready to slap each other in the back of the head or, or slap each other's control out of their hands. And there's, there's something special about that. It's hard to beat that, that feeling. What got me into video games in the first place? Family. I, I think, uh, you know, growing up, my, my brother, he was the first one that bought, he had a NES, bought a SNES shortly after. I remember playing, um, like, Duck Hunt, Mario Brothers, F Zero, Super Mario World, those kind of games as a kid. Um, and it just kind of stuck with it. It was an easy and fun thing to do, and, and it was just a way from, you know, I had a brother who was um, 11 years older than me. It was like one of the few things that we could really connect on because, um, with the age gap, you know, it's like we couldn't play sports together, we would just kick my ass, um, stuff like that. So, uh, video games was a way for me to get back to my brother, and I'm a little bit competitive, so I got into that really easy and stuck with it. If video games didn't exist anymore, what would I do? Uh, I don't know, man, I'd probably sleep a lot, because I'm lazy and like, <laughs> video games are easy fun, um, but now I, I, I probably probably do a little bit more outdoor activity like hiking and stuff but probably not I'd, I'd probably just sleep a lot what is my favorite song from a video game man there's a lot of good ones I so I'm probably a little bit biased here because I spent a lot of time as a team kind of just like delving through game soundtracks like I, I was weird I, I would look specifically through soundtracks and figure out through a game's soundtrack whether or not I actually want to play the game um, music is a huge part of the creative aspect of a video game and it's one of the, uh, it's, I mean it's, uh, people that argue that video games aren't an art, I'm completely against that. I think that they're, video games are 100% a form of art and there's many aspects to it and music is one of the main portions to it. That said, probably one of the most iconic themes for me is like any of the Final Fantasy boss themes. Or a couple of the the just the battle themes. Uh, obviously, thirteen had an awesome one, "Blinded by Light." Uh, what's the game I spent the most amount of money on? That's I'm gonna flack for this. Probably Fortnite. Actually. It's it's not free, free play per se with Save the World, but I spent probably 250 bucks on that when it was first coming out. And Dan's there shaking his head. <laughs> uh, either that or, yeah, probably Fortnite by a, by a big portion. Second, maybe Warframe. I've, I've spent probably close to that in Warframe. Who do I usually choose in Smash Bros? Uh, Melee, I was a young Link main. Hell yeah. Um, 
there's a there's a lot to that character that I don't think a lot of people tapped into. It was a lot of wasted uh, character space there for tournaments. But Young Link had way too many tools that Adult Link didn't have, just because of better recovery, better speed. That was always that kind of person where I was just like, I'll, I'll take Falcon over Ganondorf any day. Ganondorf's cool, but I'll take him. And I'll take Young Link over Adult Link any day. And that carried on through Brawl with Toon Link and all that. Who's my favorite villain in the video game? Story-wise, I think one of my favorite villains, I don't know about the best, but definitely one of my favorite, and it's because the voice actor is freaking amazing, it's Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2. Uh, I might be a little bit biased because I'm playing Borderlands 3 and I wish he was in it, or there was more of him in it, but Handsome Jack's awesome. He's the asshole that you love to hate. Uh, there's so many good things about uh, the dialogue where he's just a complete psychopath, but he's also a really cool, nice guy. He's got a pet statue, or pet, he calls butt styling. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> it's hilarious as well. Um, Ganondorf's probably a close second or, or up there. I think like everything about the character reeks of just evil. There's just something about him uh, with just his never-ending um, power hunger. I mean, he's just a cool villain. Are there any games I'm bad at? Yeah, prob probably. 90% of the games I haven't played. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm like one of those guys that could just pick up any game and be good at it. I gotta practice. I think most people are like that, but... Uh, Tekken, I'm really bad at. I never played Tekken in the arcades, never really understood the mechanics. But I love Street Fighter, I love Soul Cal, um, I love Smash Brothers. But Tekken I just never understood. I, I gotta get into it and learn a little bit more about it. What's my favorite series of all time? Um, that's an easy one, Final Fantasy. There are a lot of games in that series, I admit, but between just the recurring themes throughout them, um, but at the same time, but like the wide variety of characters, just, you know, you have some games like the older ones that have these level, really goofy characters, and then you have the newer ones that are like super serious and just, um, you know, you feel like your life's actually threatened through the story where you're just like, oh, I gotta do something about this. That that takes a lot uh, of creativity and a lot of talent on a writer's part to write a story where you're like, I need to kill that guy. <laughs> Why would I recommend video games to people and what kind of impact have they had on me? Um, I would say, and it's probably like the easiest out, but video games are just a great out. Like they're just a great way to burn time and relieve stress. Um, there's, there's a lot of hobbies that are like that, um, but video games just have a unique side. There's, they, they have a little bit of everything. There's storytelling, great storytelling, there's great music, um, it's mentally challenging, there's, <laughs> there's, there's just there's so many aspects of video games that just make them so cool. Um, and things are always changing, like there, there's literally a game for everybody. Um, it doesn't matter what your interests are, I'm sure there's a video game out there that's for you that you would really like. And it's it's just hard to to ignore that. Like that there's a medium that's you know, not everybody likes movies, not everybody likes cartoons, stuff like that, not everybody likes music. Um, but that's definitely a thing. And the impact that's had on me is I mean it shaped my childhood. It spent countless hours as a kid playing games. Um, the friendships that I've had and the friendships I've uh, ended over games <laughs> I could probably count on more than two hands. Like but it, it's just it's an awesome way to connect with other people and, and have a great time. And there's not a lot of things out there like that that you can do. Yes, fight me. I'm oh, sorry, I was trying not to lose it, man. I gotta keep my composure until you're done talking. Okay.